Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. In the last part we did stuff, I can't remember the exact plot details because it's been about a month. And there's a guy right through here that I need to kill quickly. Oh shit. Okay, that... I thought my game froze for a second there, I'll be honest. Okay, that guy's killed me and ended this episode early about 15 times. Well, thanks for the awesome gun ammo, either way. Puzzles! They're a quote-unquote thing. What the? Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, you know what would be awesome? If I could go all Resident Evil 4 here and have these guys be picked up by that crane, that would be awesome. That's one of the funniest parts of Resident Evil 4. Ah, yes. Weapon. Where's the other weapon? There it is. What was the save state button again? Or not really save state, but... F5. Got it. You're blind. <laughs> and also dead. I, I, I'm actually surprised I hit that guy. Uh, I think I forget which way I go. Okay, not this way. That narrows it down very well. Don't notice a thing, dude. Never notice a thing. Ah, son of a... Painkillers, painkillers, ah, oh, son of a... Oh, God, no, no, oh, God, there's two of you. I am not good with managing painkillers, if you can't tell already. <laughs> you know, all things considered, I handled that pretty well. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been like my first playthrough of Max Pain 3. Or not, uh, 2. I haven't played 3 yet. Ah, uh, painkillers! Uh, I remember getting stuck here on my first playthrough. I think I have to go on this thing? Yes, I do. I'm surprised I remember that. <laughs> ah, I hear bullets. I heard bullets. Ah, uh, Deagle, I love you. Oh, that's inconvenient. I wonder if you can get crushed by this. Oh, God. I dived right into that, too. That's... Death. Ouch. What the hell? Okay, that time I didn't die. And one guy also got crushed. Uh... You know what this section reminds me of? It reminds me of a section in Resident Evil 5. Uh, what was that? I think that was the cart. That was the cargo ship. Oh god. You sir failed at running me over. And that's still gonna try and kill me. I'm dying a lot very early on. Then again, uh, I haven't played this game in like a month, as I said earlier, I think. Okay. There's always something awesomely tense. Oh god, that's a grenade! He would have blown himself up, the idiot. Still can't tell us we're competent. These guys are anyone that any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie hires. Oh. 
I'll never stop saying it. The Ingram is really good. And I'm out of ammo for it. Perfect. Ow! Uh, you made me jump there, dude. <laughs> this time with no survivors. How did you not hear that? What is oh, he said raise the bridge. I was like, what did he say there for a second? Thank you. Okay, do we have to do we have to lower that bridge? I forget. Okay, then that's worrying. Just in case, I'm gonna have my back turned. Yep, I was right. Anything good? Oh, yeah, baby. Why can't I? Thank you. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort out family troubles. Exhibits number one, two, and three. A briefcase of money, a sniper rifle, and an envelope with one word neatly printed on a folded piece of expensive paper. Mayor. It didn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point. Okay, then. But yeah, baby. Uh, yep. It's always weird for me nowadays, whenever I find a, a game that has... Uh, the sniper zoom be the E button. I'm so used to it being, like, the right mouse button or something. Also, this thing's powerful. I think it's a guaranteed instant kill on anyone. I am just really low on any kind of ammo that I would like to use. I'm quick saving all over the place as well. Um. Uh, this? Yep. Yeah. I don't even remember how long that took me on my first playthrough. I like health. Health is good. Um. Hmm. No, actually, I don't remember where I'm going. Uh. Okay, I just remembered what we have to do. See that? Yeah, that's totally obvious. Max Payne 2 and 1 are pretty full of that, actually. Less so 2 than 1, because 2 is a bit more obvious with its interactable environments, but still. That should be enough to kill him. And there's another guy to the left. There was another guy to the left, and then there's that guy, uh... Oh, yeah! That is satisfying beyond belief, you don't even know. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of, a uh, Sniper Elite V2. Then again, again, in that game, you can shoot off guys' testicles! Which just isn't that ide good of an idea. Because they are valuable things. You know, I wonder if I had left that guy there alive, if this truck would have killed him. Hmm. Then again, he was kind of in my way to begin with. Eh. Oh, that is not safe. It is now safe. Um, go in here. I'm guessing nothing but grenades. Painkillers, thank you! I'm that guy that always has to have over half health because I'm that paranoid. Because then I start fearing critical hints a la RPGs. <laughs> Pokemon! And now we're in a section from Fear 3. Yay. That game was pretty average, actually. <laughs> Though co-op in it is fun as hell. So yeah, we just got grenades again, which are good, I suppose. Uh, I forget, do I get double deagles in this game, or is that Max Payne 2 that introduced that? Oh wait, there are guys on top of these things, that's right. 
You are not a very pleasant s man, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was much simpler once you use Ingrams. Did you? You fell through the stairs! That's awesome! Can I get your gun from here? No, no, I cannot. Then again, you also can't crouch and walk at the same time, which I find kind of weird. Uh, just in case. Painkillers? Painkillers. Oh, great. Ha! You can't get me. Now you can. Where'd he go? Oh, is he coming over here? Yep. This reminds me of that one section of Metal Gear Solid where you can re-equip and de-equip your gun to make no noise for some reason. Oh, Metal Gear Solid! I'm just gonna save and stay right here. Okay, then it didn't explode. Oh, it's this section. I know this section. Pretty much, as you notice, there's tracks on the ground. We have to control this thing. This really, really loud machine, which I have to kind of yell to talk over, because I can barely hear myself otherwise. And then do some sniping. Uh, I can't go that way or that way, so we're going this way for now. I can never say it enough. I love snipers. No, I didn't mean to... That's not what I meant to do, but okay. I'm tempted to fast forward the rest of this section, but... Nah, I want to go back there, though. Because uh, you can actually enter some of these little cuckoo, co cuckoo nest things. I wonder how long I am in record. Okay, I'm 22 minutes in recording, which means probably like 12 otherwise. Probably less! Uh, that is a painkiller, so this was very worth it, actually. Uh, do I use it now, though? Oh, God! You. No. And your little buddy, too. Who else is there? Oh, you. So, what you guys been playing recently? In, in the past month it's been since I recorded the last part of this, I've recorded like six other games, which is, uh... Yeah. Then again, that trip to the Pennsylvania kind of helped with that. I see another painkiller, so I'm going for it. Oh, come on. I think the way the game registers it is, uh, is that if it see on the reticle, it sees a hitbox that just goes into that zoom mode. By the way, I wonder how loud this machine is for you guys, because with you, as I mentioned earlier, I kind of have to talk a bit louder just to hear myself. 
They're not the most annoying sound in the world. That, uh, that's something else. Actually, what if you leave these guys alive if this thing will run them over? Huh. Something to experiment later, I suppose. Oh, come on. What the? Oh, is that me? Oh, that was me. <laughs> I accidentally clicked my mouse pad. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to ignore the guys down there and say, Ha ha, lol, no. F5. I also think you only get the sniper view from the bullet if you do a scope. Ow! Ah, from his leg alone. Good bullets. Good, good bullets. Hi! <laughs> There's just something funny about that entire thing. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if that even makes me something crazy. Oh yeah, that's the ship we were looking for. Hi, buddy. Do I jump out here? I forget. No, I don't believe I do. Or do I press this? Yes, I do. Probably got stuck on that my first playthrough. Like, the thing I know for a fact I did. Yeah, oh, little. Deagle versus shotgun. Shotgun, uh, shotgun loses, rather. I'm not sure why they programmed that, but they did. <laughs> also, I hope I can remember to show up a cer show off a certain Easter egg that was found not too long ago, actually. Uh, is that a Molotov? No, that is not. So that's a painkiller. And this is a quick save. Rust had crept over the side of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Or his dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. And that's the name of the chapter, actually. I do like how they make the chapter names part of the actual dialogue! Whoa, did you see that little warp I did? Oh god. <laughs> okay. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my luck sucks sometimes, but it's funny at the same time. And now, reminder of that one section on Uncharted. Give me what is within you. Okay, really, I got hit as soon as I used those. Now the question is, was that the first bullet or the second one? Nothing's more of a wake-up call than a shotgun blast behind you. Well, maybe something. How did you miss? That was a shotgun blast. I should be pulverized. You, sir, are the worst kind of mook of all time. Uh, that is... over here. I'm Angela Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie, tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. 
That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet, preferably into a grave. I'm not sure what that cutscene reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. Can I drive the boat, please? Who? No, I just this section also reminds me of something. This reminds me of uh, the uh, well, what was the ship in Batman Arkham Origins? Now that game is really underrated, by the way. <laughs> sure, it was probably the glitchiest out of all the Arkham games, but it's also my second. Well, oh god. That's what I get for being one of the minority that prefers Arkham origin slightly to a si uh, city. Asylum's still my favorite overall, though. Oh, God. Quick save. Uh, I'm just going to ready these, see where he is. And they're just waiting for me. Oh, you... Uh, smart AI. Not smart me, though. Hey, I still got someone. And they got me. Hiya! Okay, and then there were two. Oh, God, you have instant kill stuff. And I have healing stuff. Molotovs to victory! Or Ingrams! How did he survive that? Okay, let's see. Can I trick this out correctly? Dear Lord, sir! Holy! You, sir, are a trooper! Four sniper shots into the abdomen! You, sir, should have been dead, like, eight months ago from that damage. Just in case. You know how to handle yourself. Anybody who says different is calling me a liar. Glad of you here. Collect all the guns and ammo you want. Meet me on the bridge afterwards. Oh, yeah, baby. And we actually got the Colt Commando, which is one of the best weapons in the game. I think, does it have a sniper? No, I'm thinking of a weapon later on, actually. We pretty much have almost every weapon, though. How, where are we in recording time? 35 minutes! Uh, take a look at what time it is on your yours, and then math. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big-time gangster act, don't you? Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. Wow. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Hey, it's the place from the opening scene thing. Also, for some reason, the Russian guy whose name I can't remember at the exact moment reminds me a lot of Drago from Rocky IV. Oh, Rocky IV. Oh, God! Don't go into the fire! Uh, okay, I remember this section now. This way. Okay, that time I died. Let's try this again. 
I do remember this section quite well, actually. Why? Because there's nothing more you remember than your life being in complete and total direct danger of being blown to pieces! Oh wait, isn't the switch over here? Oh no, I just have to work around the fire. Oh shit! What is this reminding me of at this exact moment? This fire is catching really fast, you know. Okay. It's a really high class looking restaurant, actually. Which is why we have to run for our life! God damn it. Okay. This time with less death. And I do remember one thing from my first playthrough in this area. And that's right here! That killed me the first time. And it wasn't nice. Oh, Neo! Hey, buddy! And let me guess, now that we're in here, the fire's just gonna stop growing. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Yeah, we can't get through there. Hey, at least to show us that those doors can, in fact, open, it's just that they're kind of blocked. Unlike certain doors in other games. Ah, the cult commando, I love you. It's essentially an M16, but not. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. Didn't I sing that song slightly earlier in this? I, I oh my god, I did. Huh. Okay. Be careful, because I know fall damage can occur here. Love this thing! So I think ammo for it's not the most common. Nothing over there. Nothing left in you. My shotgun's better. Okay, do I have to get in the sewers? I don't think I actually do. Well, I'm in it anyway, and I'm dead in it. And now I know for a fact that three are gonna come from over there, so quick save. Uh, yeah, let's stick with the cold just because of its pure power. Seriously, this thing is awesome. It's kind of like finding a good car in L.A. Noir. You just never want to lose it, but you end up doing so anyway. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick. No matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. 
Upstairs, the trio tango down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderers' hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Um, yeah. Pistol. Yeah, right. Oh, that was an actual open one. Uh, oh. Oh. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Oh. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. Actually, do we gun against the trio? I think we do. I forget how if they're actually like hard bosses or anything though. Oh, help! Uh, you be quiet. Some people, I tell you. Oh, those are explosives. Um, no, I'm not even gonna attempt. Okay, you, sir, are just rude for waiting. Have some food. Boop! <laughs> oh, Ragdoll. You are a gift from the gaming gods, and we love you for it. Oh! What the? Oh, I thought that was a guy back there for a second, but it's just a beer keg. I was like, what? They actually... Huh. Now that's informative. Uh, anything of value down here? Otherwise, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna go use two painkillers. That is the wrong button. There we go. I don't remember what F6 does in this. Hopefully nothing. Ah, the over-the-top music, I missed you. Hey, Persona! The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. Well, it's all up to interpretation, really. Are any of these painkillers? I don't believe so. And the TF2 music returns. Just gonna save again. And they killed me! You know, I was originally gonna do this tactically, but nah. One's down. Uh, yeah, let's use two! Okay, dude, I was quick saving! And I had to reach all the way to another keyboard to do that. That is just rude, sir. It's like... It's like knocking on someone and you know is they're in the bathroom of something! Some people. Well, at least that means this is open. Hey! No Kaizo traps. Actually, that's no, not Kaizo. Kaizo's just asshole. Uh, you are above me to my right. This is actually reminding me of a sequence in Heavy Rain, actually, with Scott Shelby. Ah. Ah, uh, there you are. Tree! Okay, that's a clever easter egg. <laughs> and now, suddenly a bar.
Can I get anything for you boys? Pills here. And we're back here. Well, I've already been killed multiple times, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, I think he was in the left, but I'm gonna check the right first anyway. Uh, nope! Ah, oh, I can't get bullet holes in it. That's disappointing. I wanted to make a smiley face. Uh, where are we in recording? 52 minutes. I should be good for another 18 or so. Uh, I think we're done in here. Ooh. That's a pump action. That's clipping into the wall. Great work there, guys. Great work. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> oh god, that's a grenade launcher. Ah! Hey, I actually survived that. Hell yeah. And thus, our weapons get even better. This is a grenade launcher. That's exactly what you think. <laughs> okay. Let's do that seriously this time. Does this recover HP? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, that doesn't recover HP, but these do. <laughs> Wasn't it a gameplay element in Max Payne 3 where the more painkillers you use, the less HP they recovered? Or am I just imagining that? Oh, I can use it here. Oh, dear. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. And this just got dark. I actually can't remember if that's Mona or her sister. I think it's her sister, though. Just based off the clothing. Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Wooten. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more, the merrier. Alrighty, can I use this weapon now? Thank you! How did you survive that? Oh, you're one of the boss characters, that's how. Uh, game! Oh, I thought I was- I thought I had another weapon equipped, my bad. Hey, buddy! Ow! Oh, damn it! Hey, we killed each other! Ah! Once you know his trio was done for, and I think soon he shall be as well. Outside my door, hurry! He's coming for me. You gotta hurry, please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him not to... Well then, this ended well, I'd say. Oh, hey, yeah, ba okay, really. 
Hey, it's the uh, intro song, actually, or at least it has the background beat for it. Drop it. Don't move. Ah, shit. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble in dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. Well then, this just got really dark and really trippy. I like it. Who's there? Okay, Max. we're back here again, really. Max, is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? Please. Uh, haven't we been through this section like twice already? Just really being this whole dead family thing in, aren't you guys? Max? Where are you, Max? Alrighty. Staring at me. More tenderous, shiny stuff, and dreams are made of stupid necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist, having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. There was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. The caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Oh gee, it's not like we could recognize that voice actor. Whoa. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. I love that so much. <laughs> ah, I love this game. <laughs> what other game did something like that? I can't remember. Something did. Okay. This is just terrible interior decorating. Okay, this looks satanic. Okay, is this one of those sequences? Yep. Oh god, not again! Oh god. Oh god, oh, I'm slipping slightly. Uh, I see a choice of paths, so I'm just gonna continue going my own- Oh god, no! Seriously? Screw this section. 
And I hate this section so much. It's always been my least favorite section of the game. In terms of like, oh come on, don't get stuck. I've been st I've been doing this for like eight minutes now, and I'm just really getting tired of it. Okay, walk off the edge slowly. And that should put me right there, meaning I should have to go this way. Hopefully, because there's only three levels to this place. I hope I'm going the right way. Because honestly, the last one was just pretty much follow a specific path kind of thing, but this one is a lot worse with that. Actually, no, I need to go this way. And this isn't probably easy for those of you who are playing along, too, because this entire area just looks so samey. Yep, I have to go this way. I know where the end is now. What's my recording time at? 69 minutes! Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, you little mature perverts. I'm really frustrated right now, if you guys can't tell, because this section, ugh. Never liked this section at all. Oh, thank God, there's the end. Uh, 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 get me out of this damn place. Okay, you can shut up. I don't think you can actually die here. I think you can just kill him. Max. Something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. Alrighty, with that, welcome to part three, guys, the final part of the game, even though it's eight chapters long. But with that, I'm going to need to end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Max Payne, we'll be going into Cold Steel and seeing what we can find in this place. See you guys then.